Restart the console. <laughs> but we're not going through the strip again, okay? Um, you pretty much saw the, the mass majority of uh, that of that level so you have nothing you know nothing more to see from that level at all uh, other than a recite result screen that still says that I was number two and whatnot I've gone to one of my previous saves that has the tower unlocked so we're gonna go there we're gonna go, we're gonna go in as <laughs> as the number one ranked death watcher or chaser or whatever so <laughs> we're cheating here but I just want to show the last of the game and I don't care about rankings and whatnot well Jack's number one anyway so who cares so we're gonna crack on with this we're gonna do the last level right now the tower we gotta face the champion let's go take the challenge oh yeah and let's hope to god nothing bad happens <laughs> so yeah Totally apologize for that. Jack, I've got some new intel. That was quick. You find something about the facility? Yes, it's no, big and long. I have another analyst working on it. Okay, enlighten me. The bureau caught up with the arms dealer who supplied the Death Watchers. Apparently, he's quite the superstar in some circles. And I'm sure he isn't talking or cutting any deals. Because someone in the government above the Ministry of Justice stepped in and dragged him off before you could so much as offer him a cup of tea. What's yes, with you and tea, Jack? How did you know? Say hello to one of your roots of evil, Are you, secret are you secretly, you know, English? Tax dollars. I don't know. What? Are you suggesting that our government is involved in this blood sport? Sorry, I was being too subtle. <laughs> I tend to do that sometimes. <laughs> Subtle! The president may not know anything as usual, but someone near the top sure as hell does. Maybe they didn't mastermind it, but they're involved. And they're after the same thing the rest of the audience is. Money. Jack. Money talks. Please don't whine about the government betraying us. The government's just people, Amala. And people don't all share our founding fathers' values. Yeah. Some like you protect us. But some just want to mug us in an alley. That's all it ever was. Politics. Then why leave the games, Jack? If we're all so corrupt up here. No reason. Guess I just got tired of myself. Tired of killing. Sorry. That's okay. You probably don't talk to low lives like me much, I'm guessing. You know what they say, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Well, some of us never leave the dust. We spend our whole lives in it. So, oh, right, okay. Yeah. So, we Surrounded by death. I need to keep moving. Games are up pretty soon, and there's a kill seeker out there in first place who needs to be kicked off the throne. Only way to meet the Death Watchers is to win their game. And I haven't lost one of these yet. Jack, be careful. Amala, I have a chainsaw on my arm. I'll be fine. Yeah. This. <laughs> straight to the point. And that's why I like Jack, because he's straight to the point. In a pleasure palace where dreams are made and hearts are broken, every elevator has the potential to take you straight to the top. On the other hand, stepping through those doors might send you tumbling to hell. You roll the dice and Jeez. take your chance. Jeez. In Death Watch, Jeez. the house Don't always wins the Ooh. losers Ooh. always win. Oh, hello. <laughs> Get it. 
Kill them quite early. No, no, Double bulls. being the most aggressive, so I'll try to take you out first. Oh, quickly do this. There we go. Ah! Another one comes! This quite a lot. Come on! Oh. I've broken the game again! Fuck! <laughs> Why do I keep breaking the game? Oh, 
しましたあ、oh, that guy's still there. There we go. At least that's his head off. Broken the game again. That's twice. Twice, guys. This is fucking not ridiculous. This is ridiculous. The curse of live streaming. I have to return to the title and come back in and do that whole bloody section all over again. Christ. I thought killing myself would help it, but no. It's screwed. <sighs> Single player. Yeah. The tower. Ch take the challenge, yes. We gotta skip the we gotta skip this cutscenes. This is ridiculous, like it's like I've never had this shit happen to me. Like, never normally. In a pleasure palace where dreams are made and hearts are broken, every elevator has the potential to take you straight to the top. On the other hand, stepping through those doors. Oh god. One of those nights. Right, let's take care of this fucker again. Okay, why can't I beat him? Oh, 
Oh, God. This is... Oh! Fucking asshole. I'll be enjoying this. <laughs> I'm, I'm having to replay this last stage. Fucking again. Ah, balls. Okay, and I'm dead again. Fuck's sake. Oh. God damn it. I don't know why, but it's just... I usually don't feel this bad with, uh... Play Mad World. For some fucking reason, I can't fucking hit anything. And I can't pick up anything either! Dumplings, you dumbasses. Probably the glitchiest run I've ever had in my entire life. Motion, but fucking because I was doing something else at the time. Alright. Hopefully that's a fit. 
finish him off. There we go. Chop his head off. Get that extra life. Right. And we're going into the final fight. Finally. It took us a while. Still ticking. <laughs> Ixnay on the shouting, please. <laughs> Jack, so good to hear you're doing well. Ah, Agent 13. How'd he get on this channel? Oh, we roots of evil love to spread our tendrils and mingle where we're not welcome. So, to what do we owe this intrusion? Selling raffle tickets? Jack, <laughs> as probably a Girl Scout cookies. Game, what do you think of this round? What do I think? You know better than any of us what the Death Watchers want, what they value. Tell me what you feel, Jack. In your bones. It's the blood and circuses all over again, that's all. Gladiators against gladiators. And a crowd eager to see guts spill on the sand. You think there's more to it than that? <laughs> Cause there isn't. I had hoped we were past the lies, Jack. Surely you understand that a Death Watch game without purpose is nothing more than mindless self-indulgence. There's a purpose to all this killing? As I've said before, ah, profit! You know, money, cash, you know, it's the whole thing we've been talking about. Yet now, even though there is no pressing need, the people's demand for the games is higher than it's ever been. They thirst. Just like the torture point, no, Chris. 13, I like this whole purpose thing of yours. It's very zen. It's just kind of hard to believe a word you say when you're making money hand over fist here. Money is trivial, Jack. I wanted to see things die. Not just people, bigger things. Ideas, nations, cultures, gods. Hey, if you want ideas to be killed, you should just check in I one of my conversations. My ideas get killed just a lot. Their lives. I wanted to see the winner win more than just money. I wanted to see them win the future, win the promise of power. But these games, they don't deserve the title of Death Watch. This is just watching the world burn. That's why no games have been held since 2001? Quite right, Miss Amala. So you're telling me that the organizers of the current games duped you into thinking they had some grand vision, but that you only found out it was all bullshit entertainment after you cashed your check? If this is all entertainment, then why are you here, Jack? To burn this game to the ground. <laughs> but, Jack, hadn't you heard? The world has already gone mad. There it's a mad world. world! Get it? <laughs> Title but plug! I digress. Allow me to take my leave. Oh, and Miss Amala, look to Springvale for answers about the Death Watch facility. Springvale? You mean the Springvale conglomerate? My name's Leo. Leo Falmont. I'm in my residency at Jefferson Central Hospital's ER. Or I was, I guess. Thanks again. So what's your excuse? What? Why are you still alive? Alive? I... Springvale. Don't they have a lot of pull in pharmaceuticals? Something about industry consolidation. So long, Jack. Best of luck. A mad world, huh? <laughs> I'll fit right in. Mad world! Hey! Yeah, so there we go. Right. That pretty much cleans up the rest of the kind of like plot elements that's uh, tied to this game. I mean, many people kind of like downplayed the, s the story, but uh, I think actually when you take a really good glance at the story, you can, act you can actually understand it. You know. And be ready for the biggest twists of all twists.
just as big as it constantly being a recurring theme in the game. Building contracts and real estate records for the facility. Turns out that the signing lawyers were all from the same office, run by none other than Springville's corporate lawyer. Good enough for me. What's the bureau have to say? Last year's presidential elections and those reports of illegal donations made to the Socialist Party? Springville's stock was hit hard, really hard. And the Bureau thinks they started up the games to recoup losses. Hmm. Fucked up, but I understand. Still, that's not enough to go indicting anyone. Of course not. Which is why you have to get into game control and apprehend the men running this. The Bureau's... <sighs> You think the Ministry of Justice is gonna get their hands dirty reading your garden for you? Sorry, I didn't catch that. Never mind. No time for chit chat now, anyway. <laughs> yeah, I gotta fight to. I gotta fight to win. Jack has climbed over a mountain of bodies to reach this. But then a goal of the Death Watch. And ladies and gentlemen, the champion of Death Watch. The Black Baron. For the last fucking time, nobody said that we mad. I blame our schools. So yeah, <laughs> the guy who constantly introduced the Bloodbath Challenge, who's been pretty much the announcer for some, several plot points in the game, like uh, the uh, ransom thing and whatnot, is the champion of Death Watch. What a twist! But he usually gets his ass kicked by Matilda, but here, we're going to kick his ass! The Black Baron! Navy Seal, Special Ops, come on, bitch! Death Watch! Hey, and Jack's got some support! <laughs> Sign of death, people. Ring of madness. This is madness. This is entertainment. Was created to allow the two toughest fuckers left in the game to beat each other. So Jack. Well, I'm really defending defending my number one position, even though Black Rams number two there. You know. Just just switch the numbers around. There we go. <laughs> just switch the numbers around. It'll be all good. Oh, he's got that tornado drop kick, pretty much. Oh, ah! That's kind of like his Falcon Punch. Oh, okay. Punch, 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 punch! Punch him in the jaw! Punch him in the jaw again! Uppercut! And... Down you go! Oh! This is the, this is the Baron getting... 
Oh shit shit shit. Ow. Am I dead? Oh, hey, hello. Oh shit. Ah. There we go. Happy onion. My ass is ass handed here. Oh, Jack's got to take a page out of your book and do it by hand. Only four hours a day, Ah, balls! Go back. I tried to back foot back away from him, but apparently the controllers didn't want to. The control didn't want me to face in front of uh, the back baron. Wanted me to. Ah, I'm so getting my ass kicked here. Ah, balls! Last life as well. Not good. Hopefully this is the last time I have to beat him up. Come on! Uppercut. Headbutt. Right punch into the jaw. Left punch, uh, right punch into the jaw. Jackhammer. There we go. That's him down for the count. On the last life as well. Wind it up. Wind it up. Oh, and, uh, yeah. Man! Busted out! Woo! Woo! Let's finish him off. And now it looks like the Baron's bitch is gonna get some payback. Who's the bitch now, Baron? Ow. <laughs> when the back connects with a brain scrambling hit to the head. Some real sweet cheeks on the gal, and she was damn handy with that bat too. Speaking of which, speaking of which, <laughs> Jack's just uh, got the bat in get this. Murder in his eye, and the bloodlust is building in the bleachers. Now the trappers are bringing in the bad guys more, and we all know what that means—a big fucking finish. Yes, but I think Jack's got a little unfinished Jack, business Jack, first. Jack, 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 J
That's right, Baron. What's good for the bitch huh. is good for the Look at me, boy. I wonder how he likes being on the receiving end of a pit slap. One potato, two potato, three potato, four. Time Wake up. Absolutely. This is what we've all been waiting to see. Jack winds up. The crowd is going crazy. He's Woo! And he's dead. Howard, this crowd has gone absolutely apeshit. And who can blame them? These fireworks are up in the end to an explosive evening of murder and mayhem. Outstanding performance from Jack. What do you think's next to one, Chris? I don't know, a beer, some beaver, and a big fat steak. He's probably got to go to Disneyland. This is Howard, but shot home. And Chris not. Creeley saying thanks to all the players, the viewers, and of course, our Sponsor. And we'll see you in hell. <laughs> so there we go. That's the that's the Black Baron properly done and dusted. And we got the last uh, cutscene. Just Jack chilling with a with a nice smoke in the snow. Well, I think it's snow, unless uh, a soap factory exploded on his way there. Oh, hello! Congratulations, Jack. Champion once again. At our considerable expense. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Maybe you weren't meant to be in the bookie business. You could try something else. Polo, maybe. How about chess? It's a thought. So is this. Kill him! Okay. Huh. Chainsaw, chainsaw, chainsaw. Very quick and nimble here. Nice one, Jack. <coughs> Bless me, sorry. Oh. Poor boy. Jack? Jack? Are you okay? Ooh. Jack? What's going on? Uh, he just severed communication like from I'm him, man. like I'm the one in need of a rescue. Jack! I'm glad I made it in time. I saw you go into the tower, so I snuck in after you. You snuck in? <laughs> oh. What? I'll give you credit. You ran a pretty good line of bullshit. But in the end, it smelled exactly like crap. Of course. You were the one who set all this up. You and your daddy's company. <laughs> it's all about publicity, isn't it, Leo? What better way to get the word out about a killer virus than release it on an entire city? Funny coincidence, your company makes the vaccine. Why, any self-respecting country would pay whatever you asked if the alternative was annihilation. I... want my lawyer. I've got... I've got nothing to say to you. <laughs> yeah, you do. Not even one little thing. See, I was wondering why Death Watch? If getting word out about the virus was the goal. Why risk an uncontrolled element like the games? Jack... You're here to arrest me, right? You better hurry or... Or I'm gonna die on you. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leo. Poor little Leo. I'm no champion of justice. 
And I'm certainly not its bitch. <laughs> What? You mean you're just using the bureau? <laughs> That's a laugh. <laughs> yeah, just yuck it up because you're gonna die. I know. Because you're bleeding oh, profusely on, from the side. And answer my question, douchebag. My, my dad wanted the vaccine. That was his. I just. You just. It was fun, Jack. That's all. I can have anything. Drugs. Women. But the game. Jack the game. It was the best, Jack. <laughs> he wanted to see the thrill. Uh, so that's why you were there. Just had to be in the thick of it, didn't you? Wanted to feel it. On your skin. <laughs> Now, help me, or I'm gonna... <laughs> and the famous words from Jack. I don't help people. Kill them. And that's game. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I hate this part of town. These billboards are a fucking waste of money. self centered credit boards, if you ask me. I didn't. <laughs> oh, dear. So, yeah, this is the credits. Uh, well, the. Uh, Commentary to its credits. Because uh, obviously, uh, the commentators from the game obviously talk over these credits. There are more credits after these, uh, after this section, so yeah. They say programmers speak the language of computers because nobody else will speak to them. I didn't know you were a programmer. Um, so yeah, <laughs> just gotta get get myself a little bit more comfortable, or try. <laughs> um, yeah, so that is my world. Um, of course, <laughs> the ending was a bit uh, botched up. I can easily admit. Um, but uh, yeah, Woo. I still regard it as a good game. I mean, I've never had those glitches happen to me before. Uh, particularly, obviously, um, the Wii crashing on me, and uh, the you know uh, that last bit, you know the the the, uh, the Mad Bull kind of like stuck in a kind of like motion because something else happened at the same time. Uh, it's like it's crap like that. I never come across on the normal thing. Um, this is kind of like my Sonic Heroes, uh, Sonic Heroes Super Hard Mode playthrough, where pretty much you know um, I got completely shafted over uh, in terms of that mode with glitches and bugs and level designs. Oh my! Jesus, everything sounded like a wet fart. Sorry, but that was me. Ah, oh, Howard. I don't know if yelling bang every time something happens qualifies as sound programming. I don't think story writer is the right title for this guy. What title would you use? I don't know, something along the lines of Mercurial Drama Queen Hat works for me. Hey, look at this. The spell checker gets a credit, too. <laughs> two spell checker. Don't make it right, but two writers sure can make it wrong. What? Oh, dude. This guy's storyboards remind me of the work of a famous artist. A classic or modern artist? Now, I was thinking of that gorilla at the zoo who makes pictures with his own shit. This guy's not that good. 
He won this job because oh, of what he did yeah. from the back of a match. Book. Can't really think of anything else to we can follow talk about. Um, designer under made up job titles and just move on. They have to start calling the interns cinematic animators after the intern riots back in July. Jesus, these guys couldn't frame Howard for sex crime. Wow, they must really suck. I know. <laughs> After everything I've seen... Well, I, I don't know what to... Uh, you're probably wondering what I want to play next, design. and uh, I don't really know what I'm gonna s start playing next. Um... I really don't know. Um... Uh, <sighs> Something will come to mind. Obviously, obviously, if you keep following me on Twitter at TurboXLR, you know you'll you'll get a good idea of what uh, you know the next uh, next game will be played. Uh, I mean, I've got I've got plenty of games. It's just where to kind of like continue from this. I mean, I could uh, keep staying on the Wii or um, uh, hop back onto the PS3 and play something on there or. Play uh, the Xbox 360 because um, I got got a good number of uh, games available. So you know, uh, just in case, just case of you know, uh, knowing what's what's good to play. I mean, I could I could play the next. Well, actually, not not the next game. <laughs> Not the next game after Mad World because that is not yet. Don't you know, it will be out until 2013. 20, that that Sega are fucking idiots. Um, you know, even though they're going through money troubles, ugh, no excuse. It's like they pay, they pay. They, you know, you know, they had a contract, had a deal with Platinum Games. I mean, the, pl the deal with Platinum Games, I mean, many people, many people are probably asking themselves, what if Platinum Games made a contract deal with, with another publisher? And frankly, I think it would still be the same result uh, with, you know, Sega still having money troubles because, frankly, you know, no matter what Sega does, no one trusts, uh, no one likes them anymore for some reason. I don't know why. Why doesn't anyone like Sega anymore? Um, they have been, you know, increasing their kind of like repertoire. Uh, obviously, with the Sonic games to start off with, with uh, you know, Sonic and Sega All Stars Racing, Sonic Colors, Sonic Generations. Three great games there. Sonic Four Episode One and Episode Two. I still think they're all right. You know, digital download titles, and they didn't really, you know, hinder the company too well because they were digital and they were cheap. Um, it's mainly the retail games, like obviously. Aliens vs Predator. It was made by Rebellion. You know it was gonna suck um, because Rebellion hasn't really made a good game, well, ev well ever really. Um, I mean, pfft, can't, I mean, I really can't think of how how the downfall for Sega has really hit hit them so hard. But I can say this. Sega's not Sega's not the only company. Uh, he showed up that one time with pizza for everybody to ask if everything was okay. I mean, Sega is the only the like delivery guy. Well, he's both. You know, it's taking more drastic measures than any like other that. company out there right now. He gets right drunk, now. he yells a lot, he passes out in a pool of his own drool. He's harmless and people usually just ignore uh. his ramblings. <laughs> Up and get your nose pushed, get your body thrown up and